Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Med School Mondays with Promo. Of course, I'm your host, Professor Mohan. What are we going to do today? We're going to talk about insulinomas and glucagonomas. So these are both pancreatic tumors. In case you missed last week's lecture, definitely click on the links below and it'll take you back to the previous lecture. So before we get into the pancreatic tumor, I just want to remind you guys, this is a, you know, a funny diagram of the pancreas. We have alpha cells and the beta cells. The delta cells are also existing. We're not going to talk about that today. We'll save that for when we talk about the pancreas and the digestive system. But today, the alpha cells, you want to know secrets glucagon and the beta cells secrets insulin. So let's get right into it, guys. Glucagon noma, so secreted again by the alpha cells. Now glucagon is going to break down all the glycogen into glucose. So of course we're expecting hyperglycemia. So how are we going to remember the signs and symptoms of glucagon noma? Think of the four Ds, right over here, the four Ds. D number one, diabetes. So it mimics diabetes, which means the patient is going to have hyperglycemia due to increase in glucose levels. The second D, dermatitis. Exactly, the patient will have necrolytic Migratory erythema, so patient's skin is going to be affected. The third D, the patient's mood will be depressed. And lastly, DVT, D vein thrombosis. So that's it guys, that's it for glucagonoma, four Ds. When we talk about insulinomas, what are we thinking? Well, insulin levels are high this time. Insulin levels are high and as we know, insulin suppresses the glucose levels. So the patient is going to present with hypoglycemia. You want to associate this condition with Whipple's triad. Definitely want to remember, low blood glucose levels. Secondly, symptoms of hypoglycemia. The patient will have double vision, known as diplopia. The patient will have fainting episodes, syncope. And the patient will feel lethargic, weak, fatigue, all of those things that a patient will have when they have low glucose levels. And the third thing, very, very important, the symptoms will resolve after you give the patient glucose. So that's very important. Now, this is the most important thing you have to remember. Increase in C-peptide levels. C-peptide levels, are a natural substance that is secreted when endogenous insulin is released. Why is that important? Because if a patient takes exogenous insulin, that is like a lot of the healthcare workers who have access to insulin or a patient who's overdosing on insulin, of course, this is going to decrease the glucose levels. However, C-peptide levels, the substance will not be seen in labs. So it will be depressed C-peptide levels. So definitely know the difference between insulinomas, which is endogenous insulin versus exogenous insulin use. So definitely know the difference. It's going to be the C-peptide levels, which will let you know if it's increased insulinomas, if it's depressed, exogenous insulin use. Lastly, what do you have to know about treatment? Of course, surgery, surgical resection of the pancreatic tumor, surgical resection of the insulinoma. That's it guys, that's it. That was a brief discussion on insulinomas and glucagonomas. Next week, what are we going to do? We're going to talk about the men's syndromes, multiple endocrine neoplasias. And uh, you know, what are you guys going to do until next week? You guys are going to like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the video with all your friends, and definitely comment on the sections below. Until next week, I want you guys to have a great week, and we'll see you next week on Med School Mondays with Promo.